It's never bothered me to take and say, I'll move that damn building, or I'll rip this up, or I'll tear that up. I don't care how big it is. The opportunities are there. Just gotta grab them and run. A lot of that comes from my mom who said, there's nothing you can't do. Even though I didn't go to school, it didn't matter anything, but there's nothing, you, if you can think about it, you can do it. Hi, I'm Heather O with BizBuzz TV, and tonight we are here at the City Lights Gallery in Bridgeport for their latest show, Waterworks. Located in downtown Bridgeport, the City Lights Gallery opened its doors to their latest summer show, honoring Kay Williams. Susan Kachmar, executive director and curator, decided to give the water-inspired show a unique twist. We figured we had to give it a Bridgeport spin, um, so who's the best and the most important persona in Bridgeport who's made his whole life and loves the water, Kay Williams. We wanted to bring um, together a sense of life, loving the water, making art and creativity based on water. So that's what this exhibit was about. I have to say, not only is the room crowded with people, the walls are crowded with art. I mean, this is the most packed the gallery walls I think have ever been. The exhibition brought together a group of water-themed artists to share their work alongside Kay's. Breck Morgan here is a featured artist at City Lights Gallery tonight, and tell us a little bit about your work. They're basically sea sky, sky studies, you know, as uh, a remembrance of a lot of the ocean sailing that I did while I was traveling around the world. How do you feel about being included in tonight's show? Oh, it's fantastic. This is absolutely one of the, I think, the most amazing shows that I've seen here. For a start, I really wanted to see Kay Williams' coffin. I've seen, I've heard about it. He asked me to pinstripe it, or if I knew somebody who could, and I didn't, uh, so he found somebody else, but I saw a few photographs of it. As a matter of fact, I'm inspired now, and uh, somebody else mentioned that all artists should make their own coffins. I'm really pleased to be in the show. Kay Williams, huge part of Bridgeport, and last year during the City by the Sea Art Fair, I went for a walk on the docks and shot this not knowing but Kay built these boats and I just, I love that. It's just so, it's a wonderful show. Kay's done a lot for Bridgeport. Kay's son Bruce Williams, also a featured artist, provided us with his thoughts about the show. The idea for the show was to get my dad's work down here, big pieces that he's built and carved to, uh, to show them. He's had his pieces put away for many years and we wanted to get them out so that people can appreciate them. And then Suzanne ran with the idea and said, well, let's make a waterworks show. We'll get all marine artists in the area to participate. So that's what, uh, what you see here tonight. And what does it mean to you to be showing here tonight with your dad? It's really uh, exciting because uh, it's you know, this father-son thing, which is uh, it's a lot of fun. And it was re another one of the reasons I wanted to do it so that we could do something uh, together. Well, it's wonderful, and I love how different your work is, too. I mean... Completely different. Yeah, his work is very uh, bright and colorful. Mine is sub subdued and uh, tonal, kind of, but uh, I don't know. Go figure. <laughs> Kay Williams is well known for the creation of Captain's Cove Seaport and for the restoration of the HMS Rose during the late 80s. Once docked at Captain's Cove, the HMS Rose was once considered Bridgeport's crown jewel. I really appreciate what Kay's done, A, with the Rose, and B, his other art projects that I've seen him work over and work with over the last well, 20 or 25 years. What do you think it did for the city of Bridgeport to have the HMS Rose here? It's done a lot for Bridgeport, I think. A lot of pride, a lot of good stuff. And uh, besides that, uh, look behind us. What do you see going under Tower Bridge? There it is, underneath there. There, there it is, going under Tower Bridge, and it's got Bridgeport right on the back of it. Throughout the evening, the community enjoyed a wide range of art, food, and quality time with friends and artists. Well, one of the great things about this show is the variety of art that's featured here, and Dominic is the artist of this very awesome painting. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's part of a trilogy on global warming. Alice represents humanity. She's blind to what's happening on the planet. The rabbit is there with his clock, looking at the global warming of the city and stomping his feet. Time is almost up. So basically, it's a lot of iconography and uh, in most of my work, and this is just one of three. These mixed media prints are done by Florence Solon. Tell me about your work here. All right, well, 
Uh, they are solar prints, which are quite different. Uh, it's actually working on a different surface that you actually expose to the sun, and the sun etches the plate, and then you get the uh, basic design. The Waterworks Show not only hosted a great collection, but was witness to the importance of the growing art community in Bridgeport. Well, it has been a very successful opening for Waterworks right here at City Lights Gallery. Make sure you stop in in downtown Bridgeport, now through the end of August. I'm Heather O with BizBuzz TV. Have you caught the buzz? Well, I tell a lot of parents come down and ask me what the kids should go to college and stuff. I said, well, no, I'd rather have you have them join a foreign region. Yeah, stick a what? I said, yeah, I've always wanted to join the foreign region. What a resume, you throw that on a desk, what a resume, wow. You know how to blow up things, skydive, ba 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 Plus he has, <laughs> this is gay. No, go keep telling people that, you know. BizBuzzTV.com, your online infotainment network, video at home and on the go. To see the stars in your town, visit BizBuzzTV.com.